All right, so uh, cheap um, laser sights off of eBay. Are they any good? Are they rubbish? Um, don't know, we're gonna find out. I have got a uh, Umarex um, Beretta BB gun. Uh, as anybody knows who has one of these, uh, they are very, very good fun, um, but very inaccurate. They all shoot low and uh, to the right, or they seem to. Seems to be a common thing in reviews. Um, so I decided, because uh, the sights are non-adjustable, um, I got fed up with having to try and guesstimate where to hold. So I thought I'd get some uh, laser sights for it. Um, may also put one on my uh, ASG Dan Weston 715. Um, this is the uh, 177 pellet version rather than the Airsoft. This is very accurate, it seems to be so far. I've not had it that long, but it seems to be very accurate out to about 40 feet or so. Um, one and a half, two inch groupings seem to be very, very possible. So I'm not sure if I'll bother putting one on that, but it's got a rail on it. Um, that's got a rail on it. I've got two of these, so maybe I'll stick one on. Um, basically, these are all over eBay. Uh, I got these from uh, China, about just shy of 30 quid each. Um, so yeah, including shipping from Hong Kong, all in all about sixty pound. Um, so, but I couldn't find any reviews. Are they any good? Are they rubbish? I'm not, to be honest, expecting much uh, for a um, thirty quid laser from China. Uh, but who knows? Uh, I couldn't find a review, so I've decided I will um, make one myself. So, are they any good yet? I've got absolutely no idea. Uh, We'll find out, I suppose, once I open them up, get them fitted, and we'll have a little look. So, um, yeah, we'll see. All right, so what have we got out of the box? Okay, well, first things first. Um, they were packaged quite well, actually. They both came in a um, uh, a box with um, some sort of protective thing. This was just like a polystyrene wrapper for the uh, rechargeable. The other one came in quite a nice kind of rubberized box, which looks like much better quality than I was expecting it to be, actually. One is much, much smaller than the other one, um, but I think it's just different housings. If you look at the dimensions of the actual laser itself and where the ele uh, elevation and wind adjustments are, I suspect these are probably actually the same thing, um, just packaged uh, or put in slightly different housings. Uh, the other thing is that although one is sold as rechargeable, uh, they're both rechargeable, kind of. This one, this little tiny one, is USB chargeable here. There's a little flap underneath there where you stick your um, micro USB. It comes with a, a USB lead. It also comes with... An adapter, which I don't know where that's for, for. It's not for the UK anyway, so I'm gonna have to stick, find some travel adapters and see if I can get that working. The other thing that I've noticed is on neither on the box or the instructions, nowhere does it come uh, with any kind of notification of compliance with uh, certainly not UK electrical standards for wall sockets and that sort of thing. So uh, if you're gonna charge it on a wall socket, I definitely wouldn't leave it and go out. I'd keep an eye on it um, just in case it burns down your house um, so I'll be keeping an eye on that probably just charge it off my phone or a portable charger via USB I think rather than um, use the uh, wall socket so that's one uh, it the construction actually seems better than I was expecting it to uh, to be it's pretty good I've taken one of the sides off here just so I can have a look it seems to fit on the Beretta quite nicely it leaves a little bit of a gap here but it looks like it's going to fit, and again with the Dan Wesson, I think it would fit on there quite nicely. I've taken the um, the little bolt out. So that's with the one that is billed as uh, rechargeable. Um, switches seem to be pretty solid, and all in all, it, I mean, yeah, it's better than I was expecting it to be for the price I paid for it, put it that way. So the other one, um, this is bigger. Uh, but again, as I said, it's, I think it's just um, the housing. It's uh, I think it's the same laser unit. 
Uh, again, it's uh, it looks like it's probably going to fit on either one. It actually, fits on the Bretta nicer, even though it's bigger. It's kind of goes goes nicer with the trigger guard and it seems to fit the um, the form of the Beretta a bit better. Looks a bit more ungainly on the revolver, so maybe I'll stick the small one on the revolver. Um, so yeah, so this one is just built as a <clears throat> subcompact pistol laser sight. So I could understand why it also came with a a wall socket and an adapter again. Um, nothing uh, that says it's suitable for UK or conforms to UK safety standards. So mm, I'm not sure about that really, about sticking it in the wall, certainly leaving it unattended. Um, but it's also kind of rechargeable. It came with a a rechargeable um, 2032 battery, which just sort of sits in here. It's a bit difficult to do with one hand. Uh, so, yeah, the battery is rechargeable. You need to take it out uh, and you stick it in here and then stick that in the uh, wall to charge it. Now, I'm going to have a look. I've got a travel adapter here for... for uh, UK or France or Europe to UK adapter and a UK to Europe adapter. The only way I think I can get this working is to stick that into the UK to Europe adapter and then stick that in the Europe to UK adapter and then bang that in the wall. For anyone who's watching from outside the UK, that's what our wall sockets, our plugs look like. Um, so whether it's going to work very well with all that combination of plugs, I don't know. I may just be tempted to um, <clears throat> buy your standard like non-rechargeable uh, 2032 style batteries. Um, I think it's 2032. I think that's the serial number of the battery. Um, so yeah, it doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, it does say. There you go. Look. Uh, battery and yeah, so you slide that battery out um, and you stick it into the um, charger and hope that nothing catches fire. So yeah, so that's them. They were the construction is better than I was expecting it to be. Um, they're sturdy. The switches are good. They were packaged well. Uh, they turned up about three or four days faster than I was expecting them to. Um, so yeah, that's them out of the box. Uh, no indication they conform to UK uh, electrical safety standards. Um, and I haven't got them on yet and got them adjusted, so I don't know how accurate they're going to be, how much they're going to hold their um, zeros, etc. You've got Allen keys for the elevation and windage. And the retaining bolts for the Picatinny rails are spring-loaded, which was um, another little bonus I wasn't expecting. That should hopefully help keep them in place without putting too much stress on the actual rails of the uh, the gun. Again, as anyone who's got one of these will know that the, the finish is not particularly strong on these um, uh, airsoft, well not airsoft, but BB style um, Umarex Berettas. Um, I've barely shot this. I've been very careful with it and it's already got the all marks and scrapes. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will help me make this a little bit more accurate. As I said, the revolver doesn't really need it, to be honest. Um, that's Seems to be quite an accurate gun uh, for what it is. But um, I thought I'd get the rechargeable one, or the one that's sold as rechargeable, uh, and this other one because I didn't know which one was going to be best. So um, we'll have a little look at both. We'll stick them on and um, we'll get them adjusted and we'll see what they're like. Uh, so yeah, let's find out. Okay, so that's it on. Um... That's the little slot for the battery there. That's um, that's out and is currently in the wall there. So because I'm, I'm in the UK and this was shipped with non-UK sockets, I've had to go through two different adapters to get it actually into the wall and get it on. But there's the battery there. I'm guessing that once it's charged, this light will light up as well. Um, it's only been in like a minute or two. It's not getting hot or anything, so you know I'll just have to see. But um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't leave the house with this plugged in and charging. I would keep my eye on it because there's no indication that it conforms to any kind of safety standards at all on the pack. Um, so as regards to the actual sight, it's on pretty good. The little flap sticking out there is just where the battery goes, but that fits in uh, and all nice and flush. So there you go. I, the reason I got uh, this one rather than the others was because the laser actually sits underneath the barrel directly. It's not one of the ones with the flashlight where it's off-center where you're 
um, elevation and your windage uh, will need to be adjusted for whatever for different distances that you're shooting at because this uh, laser is directly under the barrel um, you only need to um, adjust your elevation for uh, shooting at different ranges the windage will hopefully be the same whatever because it's directly underneath so there should be no left or right adjustment um, it's on quite snugly it's, it fits the Picatinny rail quite well it took me a little while to get in because as you can see I've stuck little bits of um, plastic tape there just to protect the finish of the pistol because it's um, the finish is quite fragile on these there's little scrapes and scratches on it already and it's it's brand new so I've put some packing um, some plastic packing there to try and protect the uh, threads of the rail but it's on and it's sturdy um, and it's way better quality than I was expecting for 27 quid or whatever it was I haven't looked at the other one yet um, just keeping an eye on this one now but it seems to be okay the elevation and the windage little and screws seem to be um, fairly sturdy they're not loose the switches the micro switches feel quite good um, it's yeah it's it's much better than I thought it was going to be for the price that I paid for it. it was a bit of an experiment really but so far quite happy with it I'm still sighting it in um, just giving the little battery a bit of a charge to see what the um, what the score is with the charger but initial impressions the quality seems very good the laser seems bright at 25 feet that I'm shooting at um, which realistically is about as, as good a range as you get out of a non-rifled BB gun with about one foot pound of energy uh, so can't complain so far time will tell I suppose once it's properly sighted in time will tell so far not too bad alright so the sight with the rechargeable battery don't really know what's going on there to be honest that's the uh, battery that comes with it it's a 3.6 volt um, 2032 I've got a 3 volt one but that hasn't um, that's doing nothing what I don't understand is you stick the battery in here and you get this kind of intermittent red flashing light which has been doing this for about half an hour you take it out of there and stick it in there uh, and it's still that one flashing and you take it out and then that green one goes so you now that one's going and that's doing nothing so uh, I don't really understand what the score is with that charger to be perfectly honest uh, there's no instructions with it so it's just kind of guesswork I don't really know um, with this laser sight here I've had to peel the stickers off because I think I need to get to, to the screws and take it apart I've run out of um, windage adjustment I can't get it on target it's way off to the left and uh, I can't get it on target so I suspect maybe the um, uh, the little grub screws that control the position of the laser inside have either come out of adjustment or whatever I don't know so I'll have to take this one apart see if I can get it working um, but yeah it's, I mean it's at 20 feet it's about a foot and a half off so it's way out but on the plus side the charger to this one uh, is much more understandable you charge it in you plug it, uh, plug it in it goes red when it's charging uh, as it's when it's flat as it's charges it goes like a yellowy orange then it goes green uh, when it's finished charging if I take that out uh, see that'll go green so I give that sort of half an hour or so and that will um, that will light up green at the moment it's charging um, so yeah I've got to take that one apart see if I can figure out what's going on with the uh, adjusters and that battery I don't know whether that's charging or not or what it's doing um, it's warm so something's happening so yeah this is a this is a mystery charger this one I don't really know what's going on. This one, the charge is understandable, um, but the laser's well out of adjustment. Uh, so yeah, um, a bit interesting so far, we'll see. Okay, so the uh, the rechargeable one um, is not zeroing. Um, so I've taken it apart and I've figured it out. On the very back of the laser, there is a spring which is I think it's supposed to keep it centered it's supposed to be glued to the body here 
but it isn't you can see well you would be able to see if I can get the camera to focus um, there you go can't go in any further it's come away so what that means is if you overshoot the um, the windage if you go too far in this way basically you just push the screw to the side or the, push the spring to the side and then when you bring the grub screw back out again because it's not attached it doesn't recenter so that's that's the problem it's a little bit of glue there that has come away from the side and means once you overcorrect to the left uh, even though you bring the grub screw out it won't go back to the right because the little spring on the very back of the laser doesn't have anything to um, purchase against so I figured out why I can't zero this one um, are they all like it? Is it a manufacturing thing? Is it just this one? Was it damaged in transit? Um, don't know. I'm going to stick a little bit of super glue in there and see if I can um, fix it. Who knows? Um, at least I know why it's not zeroing anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, so um, they're on. I'll put one on the Beretta and one on the... Uh Tam Weston in the end, um, it looks a little bit weird there like that to be honest. Um, this is the one that uh, I had to take apart, it seems to have um, worked my little uh, idea of putting some super glue on the um, connection, the elevation of windage is now working fine, we'll go out to uh, down the hall to the bathroom and I couldn't do that before I could not get that to um, adjust now I can't focus on there it's having trouble focusing but there you go it's just on the uh, just on the top of the uh, front sight there which is exactly where I want it there on the walls probably a bit easier so it's there it's spot on it is spot on exactly where I want it to be so I got there in the end um, visibility wise it's very good it's very bright I mean that's that's 25 feet which is about as much distance as you're going to shoot an air pistol anyway really one of these little um, co2 guns outside for it over a distance it's pretty good actually it's quite bright um, we'll go and shine it out the window and I'll show you okay so this is uh, outside over a distance there's the uh, We're well, here, we're doing alright, that's cars, it's, there's the street, you're losing it now, you can still pick it up on the street, there's a road sign there, that's probably getting on for about 100 feet away I suppose, so it's, at night time it's actually pretty good, um, you can see it moving left and right there, so it is pretty bright at night, can I get that house over there? Yeah, just about, just about see that moving on that house over there. And that's hundreds of feet away. That is a good, I don't know, 300 feet maybe. That's pretty good going. But so bring it back down into the car park. And there's the car there just below the window. And then onto the window sill. So yeah, at night, it is pretty bright. And it's shining back off that street light there, off the um, road sign. So yeah. Pretty impressive actually, range wise, uh, in the dark. I don't think you'd see that during the day, but um, that's not bad, not bad. So, yeah, overall, um, I have to say, for £27 each, um, delivered from China, uh, less than £60 in total. I'm really impressed. Uh, didn't expect them to be this high quality. Didn't expect the laser to be quite so bright. Um, had some issues with uh, this one on the revolver. Uh, I don't know if it was damaged uh, while it was being shipped or I possibly might have overturned one of the grub screws and um, broken it internally. But, you know, four screws to take the, to take the top off, a little bit of super glue on the spring. And it's good as new again, you'd never have known. So I can't really fault it. Uh, they're 
by the looks of it, when I took the um, top off of that one, they're very, very cheaply made. But then again, they were very cheaply bought, so you, you know, can't really complain, I suppose. Um, if you're looking for a laser to shoot out to about 30 or 40 feet for a BB gun air pistol, when it's got Picatinny rails or Weaver rails, um, grab one, grab one. They're all over the internet, uh, all over eBay. Um, I will put a link in the description to where I got this one from. Uh, I can't afford him. Turned up, or said it would turn up on somewhere between the 25th of August to the 5th of September. It's turned up on the 22nd of August, so a few days early from China to uh, the UK. Uh, can't really complain about that. Can't really complain. Um, I'm impressed. Battery life on both seems to be uh, an hour-ish. Um, they both charge up within about half an hour. Uh, if that actually, if that in actual fact, the one on the revolver charges in about 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, uh, plenty of fun. Um, easy to use, easy to set up, uh, cheap, and you can't argue with them at that price. Quite happy with them. Um, go and get one or two. Enjoy.